So guys, in this video I will give you uh, five tips to learn uh, the tones in any tonal language. And uh, I wish I knew these uh, tips before because I started the wrong way with learning tonal languages. I will also explain you how I started and why I think it was better if I started with the tones. Um, when I was learning Mandarin and Thai, I just started with learning words. And then the problem was that a lot of people couldn't understand me because uh, as you know, any tone has one uh, other meaning. And uh, yeah, people didn't understand me. Uh, so I, I, I spent a lot of time in learning words and vocabulary. And uh, it's really frustrating if people can't understand you. So that's why I think it's better to start with the tones because people then can understand you. And you're also learning a lot of more words if you can distinguish those tones. So in this video, I will give you five tips uh, to learn the tones. And uh, I need to say I have an A2 level in Mandarin and an A1 level in Thai, for example. So I'm not, I'm not a master, but <laughs> I can just share some tips which I use now uh, to learn those tones. So um, tip number one, uh, I think it's good to listen maybe every day or three times a week to 50 different words. So uh, there are a lot of videos on YouTube where you can just find a lot of words of native speakers. And I think it's good uh, if you're just listening, if you're just listening to it. So uh, you don't need to speak, just listen and maybe repeat it 10 times. Watch the same video 10 times. And I think you also need to look, uh, you need to watch videos where the native speakers are uh, pronouncing the tones really slowly. I shared some YouTube channels for you so you can just listen to it and uh, I think when you uh, when you repeat it and do this daily or maybe every week then after a while those words are going to uh, stick in your brain and then you're memorizing it and uh, so I, yeah I, th I think that's a great way to learn those tones that it's in your brain and then after a while maybe after three weeks you're able to speak it as well because you know how to speak it uh, because uh, it's in your brain. So for me, that's tip number one. Tip number two is to have an, as, uh, uh, an association with any tone. So uh, a feeling or maybe a story. Um, I will give you, maybe, yeah, I will give you two examples of how I do it. For example, in Mandarin, you have wo hui, wo hui. These are two different tones. So with the first word wo. I think about a snake because the way how you pronounce it uh, is the same like how a snake is moving, like wo, wo. You hear it? So that that's a trick for me to uh, memorize the tone. And then the word hui, hui. It's going down. You hear? So it feels a little bit like you're um, that you're using your fist on the table, like hui, hui. You know? So for me, me that's a really good trick to memorize the tone and to pronounce it. So Maybe this works for you, I don't know, but you can at least try it. All right, then we have tip number three. I think it's important to talk slowly at the beginning. So, um, like how I did it before, you can say, wo hui, wo hui. Just talk slowly. And don't be afraid that people will stop talking to you. Just talk slowly so you have more time uh, to pronounce the tone. So, at the beginning, just take one second for any tone and uh, people will understand that you are, are a beginner so you don't need to worry about that and after a while you can maybe let's say every week you're talking a little bit uh, faster so maybe after one week uh, uh, 0 0.9 second and then 0 0.8 second and then go ahead until you um, yeah you can speak it uh, with the same same confidence uh, like how you're uh, talking in other languages. So that's what I re recommend. Um, yeah, then tip number four is to use your fingers as well to pronounce the tone. Uh, this is just an extra tool for you uh, to um, yeah, feel more confident. So like how I did it, like wo hui. Like you can just use it and you will see that there is a connection uh, in what you're doing physically and your pronunciation. So, uh, that's a good tip as well. All right, then tip number five. This may be the most important one. Uh, you should also start with that, I think. 
because uh, then you're able to improve your uh, pronunciation. You can make audio files of the words which you've learned. So um, you can use uh, the recorder of Facebook. Uh, when you're using your mobile, uh, there's a tool to rec record your voice. And uh, there are also other ways to record yourself. And when you're doing that, you can uh, send it to a native speaker. Then ask the native speaker to send you a file back. And then you can compare your audio, audio file with the audio file of the native speaker. And you can hear the difference. Then you can do it again and again and again. Ask the native speaker to send you uh, an audio file back. And after a while, you're, yeah, you're just improving just because you're uh, listening uh, uh, to what the native speaker is saying. So I recommend you to use Facebook because um, then you can also talk about it with the person. So the native speaker uh, can also give you some critical advice or saying to you, all right, you need to uh, do this a little bit uh, different. And then, like, I think that's how you're learning tones. You ne really need to listening. You really need to listen to the details uh, of any tone. So uh, that's my advice of today. I hope this video helps. Uh, also feel free to uh, give any comments or to share other tips so that the people who are watching this video can also hear your advice. Alright, thanks.